Today, I'm going to be going to my first doctor's appointment at the Cleveland Clinic. right now which is so crazy to me because I'm so used to having to wake up so early for doctor's appointments so this is actually my first doctor's appointment that I didn't have to wake up at like six in the morning and travel two and a half hours to get to so to say I'm excited would be a little bit of an understatement um, yeah I'm gonna go uh, pack my medicine up and pack a few things up get ready to go and eat some breakfast and head out to my appointment So this place is so cool. Not only is it a really cool hospital, but also there's like art everywhere, which I am super into. So let me show you some of the cool pieces that are happening. Like behind me, there's like this really cool piece. And I'll show you some more. Let's go. done. I'm just uh, reading my book and waiting for the doctor to get in. I'll let you know how it goes. Wow. So a lot happened today. That was like the best doctor's appointment I have ever had in my whole life. So I usually go into my appointments like with this big medical binder but also i had brought in all of my medical records to the doctor's office about a month ago i visited the clinic and i gave him all of it so that he could study them up before i came into my appointment and he did like he actually did and was citing things from my records and like it was like i was a person and not just a number and it was absolutely amazing and um so <laughs> He gave these back to me when I was done. I don't know if he wrote this or like one of the nurses. Regardless, like look at this cute little note that was all on my on my medical record. And so basically what happened is I went in there and <laughs> he you know was like, "Okay, so I want to hear your story like in your words." So you know, I'm telling him all these things that I had going on. It kept being things like he'd be like, oh, do you have this symptom. So if you had this like test that just like, this is what should have happened. It just had never happened until today. So I got, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tests that are scheduled. Tests or appointments or blood work. He just wants to crack what it is that's wrong with me and the cause of my POTS and I've never had a doctor who has wanted to do that. So I am just over the moon excited. I'm thinking that if nothing else, this hospital and this team is gonna keep me where I am in this part of the country for at least a little while. I'm really, really excited. I think a lot of good things are gonna happen from this doctor, so. 
I'll uh, keep you updated and uh, if you're interested in me doing a video about any of these kind of tests, I'm going to be doing a gas brick emptying test, a blood volume test, um, uh, obviously it's just blood work, you probably wouldn't want to hear about that, I think everyone knows how blood work goes, but yeah, it was just amazing. I cannot stress enough how good it feels to have a doctor who was it just really felt like he cared and it really felt like he wanted to get to the bottom of this I think you know some of the biggest things that he said to me today um, so he had me do my blood pressure lying down and then standing up and then he took it three times standing up and he said sometimes people with pots during that you can't even tell if they have pots you don't know until they do a tilt table test but he said that for me it's very clear that I have pots you can see it in the uh, just in the blood pressure and heart rate standing in an office and he said it kind of showed that I had been going untreated for my POTS so, like I had been barely getting the kind of treatment that I needed and he's really adamant about getting me that treatment that I need and customizing a treatment plan and that treatment plan will be put together based off of all these tests that I'm about to get so I'm very much looking forward to that one thing that was just so cool that he said though was he realizes how important artists are to our communities and you know he realizes the kind of work that we do can really change the world and he you know he doesn't want to see my creative energy dulled by an illness like POTS and I just thought that that was the most amazing thing that I'd ever heard from a doctor. I mean just that sentiment said to you by someone who spent their whole life like in academic like textbook you know not around like other artists 24 7 to have just to have that mindset even when you're not in an artistic field I just thought was really cool and I was I just really felt like I found the imperfect doctor he understood me and my lifestyle and he also just from a doctor's perspective understood just how long I had been going without really getting sufficient treatment so I think that the future is bright as far as my pots goes uh, at least he makes me feel that way and I think the great other great things he said I mean he said so many great things today but another great thing that he said um, you know, as I was leaving, he was just like, this is just the beginning. I was like, wow. Like, oh. I was like trying, like, I don't know. I felt like I kept like almost like crying like, in his office. Like he would let, he would leave periodically to like go get the blood pressure monitor, or go get this thing, go get that thing. And every time he would leave, I would just sit there and I'm like trying not to like tear up, just like tears of joy. Cause like for the first time, I just feel like someone like truly sincerely cares and has, is finally seeing what I'm seeing and like feeling the same way that I've been feeling for a few years now so I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm very optimistic and I cannot wait to share with you you know how I'm doing POTS and chronic illness wise in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up so I know. Also, if you're interested in hearing my experiences with a gastric emptying test or a blood volume test, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can make that video happen. Also, if you're new here, definitely be sure to hit that little red button to subscribe so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. I make new videos every Friday, so I'll see you next week. Bye.